Jamaica is a unitary sovereign state. There is no other sovereign authority in Jamaica other than the government of Jamaica. I want that to be absolutely clear. None. And under my leadership, not one inch of Jamaica will come under any other sovereign authority. Is he drinking? We need to take him to kingdom, make him find us that we are the most powerful person in this world, not him. He need to come and apologize to us. Now, if you're coming from Jamaica or if you're coming from the Caribbean, you can't afford to miss this. Now, the Maroons are now demanding a very public apology from the Prime Minister for having said these words. Now, what's not happening? What has the Prime Minister done to them? Now, many people are claiming that the Prime Minister has taken their land. The pr Prime Minister has grabbed the land of the Maroons and they are now having nowhere to stay. Now, their land has been given to a given mining company called the Noranda Bauxite Mining Company. Now, so many people are talking about uh, the Maroons, the most indigenous people of this same state. They are now being oppressed. Now, let's watch this video of bitter exchange of words between the Prime Minister and the Maroons. What's not happening? Let's see the reasons why the Maroons are bitter with the Prime Minister and the reasons why the Prime Minister is bitter with the Maroons. Then come back, give a quick discussion about the same. Thank you. Wholeness. Jamaica is a unitary, sovereign state. There is no other sovereign authority in Jamaica other than the government of Jamaica. I want that to be absolutely clear. None. And under my leadership, not one inch of Jamaica will come under any other sovereign authority. Well, I read that when I think a fool in this a statement, you need, that a statement you need to jab back that and think back and go back in a chair and think again and come back with a different statement. Yeah, I understand who is Maroon? Because we know the peace treaty we sign, you know. Mm. You understand what I say? Why are we are signing the peace treaty? You understand what I say? Bloodshed for us. Bloodshed for us, man. I don't. What the Prime Minister said, he wrong. Because they have already know that Maroon Town is a state within a state. We are a sovereign set of people. Loving, kind. We lose our five Prime Minister. Whenever I speak, you know, say something like that about Maroon. You Nothing know, might go in the next time, the next election. At 200 and odd years, that's it. Yeah, man, in disrespect, Maroon. It's but so we don't feel good about it. Yeah, man. What do you want to see happen right now? I live where I live good. Just like how we all live? Just like how we all live. Yeah. Peaceful. Peace and love there. Peace so and love. Why would he say something like that? He man, I think Is he drinking? We need to take him to kingdom, make him find us that we are the most powerful person in this world, not him. We need to come and apologize to us, because we are not a gorilla, we are it's a crazy. decent citizen. Is he crazy? I am a gorilla, because he cannot rule the country, he cannot yeah, rule the consistency. Look up more than going up there. Chief of the Akongpong Maroons, Richard Curry, is urging dialogue. For those who are leaders, are responsible, for maintaining proper communication and not allow themselves to mislead or misdirect the energies um, of a particular situation because it could be detrimental. He insists the situation needs to be de-escalated going forward. More responsible and respectful communication because um, I've always been asking for communication and dialogue. So um, for us, it's really about ensuring that you know, um, as leaders, we have a responsibility and um, a duty to the people to ensure that when we communicate, we communicate effectively, clearly, and also seek all measures, all, all, all measures that are available to de-escalate and address situations before they become um, otherwise.
I think the first step the Prime Minister should take is apologizing to the Maroons publicly. I've been speaking to people since I've been here and a lot of people sound very hurt by what he said. What, what's the mood in the community? It's a down feeling here in Okompong and it's only because of what the Prime Minister had said. The Maroons contend their sovereignty hinges on this treaty signed between their forefathers and British colonizers in 1738. From Okompong St. Elizabeth, Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News. Hello Eva. Now, now uh, the Maroons, the most indigenous persons, have been suffering the minority problems. Now, they don't mix up with the common Jamaicans because their culture do not match with those of Jamaicans. Now, the government is really oppressing them and this is from whatever I've been watching. This is from whatever I've been seeing on the television Jamaica. Now, uh, the United Nations just recently, recently adjusted some of their rights and this charter came up with the rights of the indigenous persons of a given state now now this charter claims that uh, if a person or of people of a group or a group of people in a country let's say the maroons are in jamaica and they're most indigenous they have a right to to have their own politics uh to have their own culture social life and all that they should exercise their own economy without interference of the state now now their rights are to be maintained and uh the indigenous people are to be respected by the foreigners by the countrymen by the leadership of the same country now they therefore they can choose uh to fully or partially participate in the politics or economy of that given state and if they don't want to participate they should not be forced these are not my words if you can have your time you can go through the united nations charter and see all this that i'm saying now now their land was taken by the government and given to uh, noranda backside mining company now the company went ahead mined and you know the degradation that was made to the land and they now have nowhere to farm nowhere to get their food and you just know they don't associate they don't do politics they don't do big businesses because they live a very humble life they have a very 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 humble life this means they actually can't afford a life without farming or that now many people have come out to troll and say how hard and holiness and his government is really oppressing those people with no voice now no one is talking about the maroons the maroons have been going through a lot of oppression from the government from other major companies that they are mining their land and from all those big people who are interested in the mineral resources in their land now some of the leaders some of those who want to talk about the maroons now came out and said no the maroons should be considered as a state they should be given a flag their own currency now they should they in fact have a, their own culture so in this case it will be easy to start their own state just inside jamaica so we will have jamaica a and jamaica b the jamaican former the maroons who are the most indigenous and the jamaica for those uh, people who now moved in after some days who came as a uh, as a result of slavery now now see, so we all know that the maroons live in a, now they live in a compound now we have had so many people with so many different interests about these groups people come like they want to help them they go ahead and oppress them take whatever minerals they have now we have uh, now edward long took his time and wrote about the maroons and how they have been oppressed all this time and he came up with a bit story a history of them but what do you think now according to the un charter the un Chatter says that they should be free to practice and maintain their own political, social, cultural life without the interference of the state. And if at all, at their will, they can participate in the 
uh, politics, uh, culture, and economy of the same state, but at their will. Now, we have seen the Prime Minister very hungry, very angry, saying that they must participate and under his, under his leadership no one is going to grant them sovereignty to be their own state or to have their own politics or social life now this actually violates the human rights of the indigenous people granted uh, or stated by the un charter now let me know whatever you think of this and if the jamaicans should come out in their numbers and support the maroons they should not keep quiet. These people are going through a lot. They are voiceless. No one is talking about them because they are a small number. This small number is suffering. Please, 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 let's be a voice to the voiceless. Now, just to sum all this up. Uh, now, the Prime Minister says they don't recognize them and the Maroons have felt so bad because they are indigenous of this same state. They came here when no one was here, when there were no many people in this. They started this nation, they started this country, they started this state. So respect to them. I respect them personally. I respect the indigenous people of every given state because they are the mothers, they are the fathers of that state. They actually started whatever no one so it like it will work now thank you for watching this video please 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 if it's the first time you are coming across the channel please consider subscribing